Hey guys, so guys, welcome to another video of Maxi Aspie and today I'm going to be talking about what does autism look like? So a lot of people have a perception of autism of what an autistic person may look like and we often label these things as mildly autistic, severely autistic, high functioning autism, all the way to Asperger's, all the way to different areas on the spectrum. Now for me, my official diagnosis was Asperger's. However, I do identify as myself as autistic just because of the history around Asperger's and who it was named after and, and everything else. However, a lot of people seem to look at autism as a big line and you're either here severely autistic or you're here mildly autistic. The way that I look at autism is like a soundboard. And what I mean by that is with autism you've got so many different areas of where something may affect you you know you could be really sensitive to sound and that sound bar goes really high up now your other scale might be interactivity and you might feel more anxiety more stress when you interact with somebody and that scale could be really high up so I choose to look at autism more of a soundboard and the areas where they may need support that's where the bar goes up and that's where the bar goes down and I think it's really important that we look at autism in that way as when you say to somebody that they may be high functioning autistic they may feel that you're actually discrediting their their condition and how it may affect them and not taking it seriously you may have somebody that does require 24 hour support who is severely autistic and needs a carer and, and needs that support 24 7 However, they're going to have stress and anxieties that somebody who is high functioning autism, who can go to work, hold down a job, who then is incredibly sensitive to lights and stress and interacting with people and they have the stresses that that person who has severe autism may not have. So I really think it's important that we understand our labelling, that we're compassionate about our labelling and we look at autism in a whole different light and we look at it as in to say you have, if you have autism, you have autism and it may affect you differently to how it may affect somebody else and that's the way I choose to look at it and in regards to where people need support they've got that little sound bar that they may need support more in this area and they may need support more in this area. Instead of looking at it just a line, a simple line where somebody is here and where somebody is here, because I don't think that is actually the case. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Tell me what you think down below. It can be quite hard to describe and talk about because everyone's opinion is always gonna be different and everyone's gonna have a different outtake and an outlook and view on it. But I think it's, important to understand how other people look at it you know otherwise we sort of get into um, territories where people will not look at it in the correct way or might not be educated about it to the point where we go, sort of see uh, music videos running around uh, which is, again is a totally new video uh, which I will be talking about at a later date so I just think it's really important that we, we understand each other's views, we, we try and educate as much as we can, and we're just compassionate towards others. But guys, thank you for watching, tell me what you think down below, take care, and goodbye for now.